15,000 TOP condos in 2023. Should I hold or sell? Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Wee Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share regarding the upcoming supply of TOP condos in the private market. This is the list of private condominiums that are going to TOP this year. Some of them have already TOP and some are gradually going to TOP soon. They range from the 592 units Amber Park to 476 units 4th Avenue Residence in Bukatima to Mega 1000 units project such as Jeep Skate in Shunfu to Park Estar in Yunus. There are also the 1000 plus units Riverfront Residence, Affinity in Serangoon and Florence Residence in District 19. We also have Treasure at Tampanese where they are close to 2200 units and many other small to mid-sized projects that range from 50 to 200 units. Here, I will explore if you should be holding on to them for rental you, or should you cash it out and reinvest the funds into other properties. At the end of the video, I will also share my thoughts on this looming supply. With that, let's head over to the discussion. Once the property has achieved its TOP or Temporary Occupation Permit, the property developers will hand over the unit to the buyers. The buyers can choose to either occupy the premises, rent or sell it on the resale market. In the initial stage, buyers of new launch benefit from the progressive payment scheme during the construction phase of their development. This payment scheme is very popular with buyers as it allows them to progressively pay their monthly installment as their property is close to completion. This is the typical new home timeline. After the buyers have booked the unit with a 5% booking fees, they will have to exercise the sales and purchase agreement and pay the remaining 15% exercise fees in 9 weeks. Thereafter, the buyers will need to pay the developer according to the stage of the construction. If they are taking a bank loan, the monthly installment will gradually increase over time. Here, buyers will have two options. The first option is to rent it out. As of 1st January 2023, property tax rates have revised upwards together with the annual value amidst a rising rental market for most residential properties. Owner-occupied properties continue to enjoy lower tax rates compared to non-owner-occupied properties. However, if you are holding onto an investment property, the tax rate for investment properties will be raised from 11% to 27% in 2023. If you are still unsure how much more tax you need to pay, let me calculate for you using IRA's online calculator, which I will leave the links in the description below. Assuming your property annual value is 40000 you will need to pay $4,200 in property tax in 2022. With a higher tax rate in 2023, you will need to pay $4,900 in taxes. Come next year, 2024, the tax rate will be further raised to 12% to 36%. This means your investment property will need to pay $5,600 in taxes. This is $1,400 more compared to 2022 rates, or the 33% increment. <laughs> if you own a property with a higher annual value, your tax rate will obviously be higher. Good luck to you. Secondly, condo maintenance fees comprise the sinking fund and the management fund. The sinking fund cover non-recurring expenses for maintaining the condo condition and value, while the management fund cover recurring expenses like routine maintenance, cleaning, and security. Monthly maintenance fees varies based on the unit assigned share value, with larger unit having higher fees. New mass market condos usually have fees of around $70 to $80 per share value. For example, a 3-bedroom unit with a share value of 7 will be paying $70 multiplied by 7 or $490 per month. They work out to a cool $5,900 a year. As mentioned earlier, once a property reaches TOP, the monthly repayment will significantly increase. Let me give you an example. Assuming a buyer bought a 1.5 million new launch, 
the buyer took a 1.125 million loan with a 17 years loan tenure. The buyer only need to pay $500 per month once the property has reached the foundation stage. This amount will gradually increase to 1005 when the framework is completed and so on. Lastly, towards the TOP stage, the mortgage repayment will jump to 6000 per month. This is followed by $7,600 per month upon legal completion. In the current market, there is a possibility that interest rate could remain high, which could negatively impact your profit margins. If you are renting it out, you also have to consider if the renter can cover the monthly installment and the maintenance fees too. TOB condos are always well sought after in the resale market because they are brand new and ready to move in. I have shared that many TOP condos profit tremendously upon TOP. Most of them would have cleared the three years seller stamp duty period. The monthly mortgage repayment for your property will substantially increase upon reaching its TOP. That is why you see many investors offload their properties just after the SSD and before TOP. Because they know how to play this game very well. They buy early, pay low low for the next three years, and right before TOP, sell and cash out and repeat this whole cycle. Let me share with you a tips. Investing in property is like playing football. You must know when to play attack and when to play defensive. You cannot go all out and chill all the way. You must know how to protect your lead. So, should you sell or continue to rent out your property? Well, that depends on your current situation. Some of you may be holding on to more than one property. And by selling the current property, you will still need to buy back another property and incur ABSD. So why bother to pay ABSD again in such cases? Where some of you may have plans to hold on to their asset for rental income. By all means, keep and collect rent. However, if you are not affected by ABSD and don't have a good feel of the property market ahead, then this could be the best time to cash out and run. There are several advantages if you sell your investment property after reaching TOP. By selling the property at this stage, you can avoid expenses such as higher loan repayment, high in property tax rate, and maintenance fees. Additionally, by selling the property after reaching TOP, you don't need to incur SSD. You can use the capital to roll and reinvest in either a resale property or the new launch again. It's a matter of personal preference. You can also consider buying a new launch and enjoy the progressive payment. Once it reaches TOP, you can consider selling it and repeat this process again. I can share with you, many investors are doing it. They just repeat this cycle again and again. To sum up, back to the 15,000 new homes coming on board this year alone. We are going to see more TOP condos next year, such as Park Clementis and Normanton Park. Render demand has shown signs of slowing down since the middle of this year. More TOP condos will lead to a flight to quality by tenants. Will this lead to a higher vacancy period and lower rental? If you are those that depend on rental to cover your mortgage, is it time to sell and make alternate plans ahead? Coming back to the resale market, most new homes that are launched during the pandemic will have made significant gains over the years. So you sell or hold on to it for higher profit. Not forgetting, there will be tens of thousands of BTO flats that are going to be completed soon. Remember, someone will need to sell their existing properties. Will this add to the competition too? Lastly, more HDB flats in choice location will be attaining their MOP soon. For those TOP condos, they are near to MOP HDB flat cluster. These MOP HDB flats will give you a run for their money. Don't say I never hint at you. Here, I hope I have given you an insight into how to manage your TOP condos. You can always check with your own agent for their opinions. In case you say I misguide you, if you enjoy my frank opinions and the hard truth, appreciate if you can like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.